a lot of businesses are struggling with social media because they consider it's taking too much of their time. That's true, it's taking some time, but they could squeeze down that time a lot by putting the right process in place. And I'd like to show you some concrete example how you can implement that like right away. And the good thing is you don't have to be an engineer or a developer or Elon or something. Just, just, just bear with me. My name is Jeremy Coleman. I'm a Belgian maker living in the Bay Area, sharing a few thoughts, my ideas, my work, and simply what I do. Hi everybody, I hope you're doing well wherever you are. I'm still in quarantine like most of us. I cannot wait to be traveling again around California and beyond. But for now we have to wait. Some more days, weeks, months, maybe more, I don't know, we'll find out. So what if creating content was simple as clicking on a button? To give you a concrete example, I need a concrete situation. So let's say you are a restaurant owner. Like most restaurant owners, you have a lot on your plate. Got it? Restaurant, plate. Okay, never mind. So my point is, as a small business, you cannot afford to be spending too much time on social media. But you know already how important it is to sustain your long-term revenue, right? You know that. I know you know. In order to save time, you need to prepare ahead of time what you are going to show to your audience. The first step is identify all the potential subjects that you could be sharing as a restaurant owner. So it could be sharing beautiful pictures about the menu, the current specials, the contest, the stories about the restaurants, the backstage pictures, the reviews, etc. Whatever. Step two, identify all the successful recipes. And I mean all the type of social media posts that works. It could be even slightly more engagement. As a restaurant owner, it could be a beautiful picture about the specials, right? Step three, put the right process in place, save time while getting more results. So now let's talk about tools for a second. Back 20 years ago, do you remember that you could build a website with Dreamweaver with no code? It made website accessible for almost anybody. But today, we have so many tools that can help you build almost anything with no code. To streamline our process, we are going to use two tools, Coda and Figma. Coda is a collaborative document that is connecting all your apps together. Figma is a closed-based design tool, and I love it. So we are going to use these two tools to automate the process of promoting the menu of our restaurants, right? So the first step is get the right data into Coda. It is the menu items, the prices, the discounts, and the pictures. I have to admit, I love Mexican food, so I'll take my favorite local restaurant as an example. You can simply copy-paste your menu with the items, the prices, the discount, and your pictures. It's really straightforward. Anybody can do that. And then you can simply prepare your agenda by adding your special on specific days. Like, for instance, Taco Tuesdays, Puritos Wednesdays, Tequila Sundays. I don't know, you find out. And once you have your content calendar, you just have to connect that table to Figma, mapping all the rows with the right layers. And finally, you synchronize it and bam, all your content is ready to share. Even the layout is adapted to the size of element, like the title. Of course, in Figma, you can make the template your own by changing the colors, the fonts, the shapes. Also in Coda, if you have a lot of pictures of your restaurant, you could like create a random formula that changes automatically uh, the picture once in a while. Or you can even display your content plan into a calendar, even synchronize it with Google Agenda to receive alerts and reminders. What I like the most about Coda is that you have really cool integration like Unsplash, Google Natural Language, Wikipedia, Zapier and more. To give you some other ideas, you can go for fancier automation like for instance offering a discount on tequila every time the, the temperature goes above 68 degrees. Or you could even automate gift cards based on special days of the year, like Valentine's Day, Christmas, National Days, and you could even pull the picture directly from Unsplash. You can even send customized newsletters, so you can build pretty much anything you can imagine. I'm going to share the links of these Coda and Figma templates in the description below. Go grab it, they are all free. That's it for me guys, I hope it gave you some inspiration. I'd like to hear what's on your mind right now. If you like it thumbs up subscribe and brace yourself